You're listening to DraftKings Network. My God! My God! My God! People are tuning in right now to see our crestfallen faces. They want to eat the Miami tears. Tony's already pivoting. Slow down. Don't get to the pivot before I've told the people why it is that we're here. The Miami Heat fan base has had its heart broken. I think I heard cackling delight from Billy in another room. I'm not sure, but he's not with whatever it is the Miami Heat are doing. I think I I sensed a, a joy in Billy I had not heard or seen in a while that the Miami Heat had failed. I to saw him fist bump Taylor. Falsehoods. <laughs> That's not <laughs> falsehoods. <laughs> you can't even say it with a straight. I'm face. delirious, Dan. <laughs> well, it's been a long day. We should not be here. Uh, Stugatz escaped out of a side door. And uh, he is in his car. Uh, what are you? What are you giving me the telephone gesture with your hand for, Billy? Well, no, I was just saying I called him to come back. I'm like, so guys, this big thing just happened. He's like, Dan's not coming back. I'm like, yeah, he's 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 about to walk in. He's like, yeah, you can call me if you want me on the show. Yeah, uh, big time. We don't have phones that work here. I know. He's uh, he's the maximum Stugatz at all time. It's not a joke. It's that's really what he is. And he fled the premises, even though we've got breaking news. And I don't have the details. I have now reached out to some sources here to see if I could do some original reporting in the next 30 minutes. I was simply called. I was headed to acupuncture. I've been having trouble sleeping. I I was headed toward a peaceful place. They were going to stick needles in me. And I was going to rest. And Mike Ryan called me with what I would say is concealed and stoic heartbreak. Just can you get back to the studio, Damian Lillard to the Bucks? And now I feel, because we as a show have been loudly Miami, loudly Miami Heat. Roy, why are you shaking your head despondently? Uh, it's, it's spite, man. It's just being petty on the part of the... Portland well, well let's just... report the details and the people can decide whether or not <laughs> this was spite. spite. Okay, so what we're tearfully going to leak out as a fan base is, is a tear yeah. of God yeah. damn you. God damn, it. damn you, Portland. Yeah. Cronin? <laughs> Cronin. No, 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 no. Let's I do think that the Miami Heat approached this with a, a fair amount of arrogance, but what Portland, for all these months uh, of posturing and complaining openly to Woj, who did break this story, no surprise there, (laughs) uh, what they ended up getting was one first-round draft pick, one, two pick swaps with teams that are now going to be considered better than them, and they are now saddled with the Drew Holiday contract and DeAndre Ayton's contract. Spite! They wanted to talk about a roster that fit and that Tyler Hero wouldn't necessarily fit their roster. I'm really struggling to find out how Drew Holiday fits in all this mix, considering that that is is probably considered a worse contract than even Aiton's. The initial thoughts seem to be that they'll try to flip Drew Holiday in exchange for more assets uh, in positioning Drew Holiday as a positive asset to be able to move somewhere else. We will get to both Billy's glee and Maybe in, the heat? in general uh, the, the laughing at the tears of Miami. But I actually think that macro... Interest in sports, there are two things more interesting here than the Heat getting its heart broken. One, you now know why Giannis was saying, hey, I might not stay here if you don't get me pieces. If you want me to stay here, that was public and private pressure to go get Giannis. He wants to compete, and if you want to keep him in Milwaukee, you better do something. But more interesting to me is, after what is it, a decade or 12 years of total player empowerment? Damian Lillard is the crossroads on no, we will not respect your power, your leverage, and your relationship with our city. You want to leave? Okay. You don't get to choose where it is you go. We're going to, you want to go to Miami? We're going to send you to something close to the opposite of Miami. You're going to go to Milwaukee and you're going to either take your money and like it, 
or now request a trade like you've been threatening so that Milwaukee has to trade him to Miami because he's actually willing to lose money and he's not going to show up for work as the start of his business relationship with Milwaukee. Damian Lillard as the crossroads, because we've been saying for years, why do you always have to do what Harden wants? He's got a contract. He doesn't have a no trade clause. Well, you got to call the players bluff. And Lillard wasn't able to get dirty in public. On behalf of wanting to get here, he didn't want to ruin the fan base loyalty that he has with Portland by making a mess. And so now he gets the power taken away from him and sent to a place he doesn't want to go. That, to me, that's the most interesting part of all of this, that the place that it stops on player empowerment is Damian Lillard. You're too old and you have too much money late in your contract. You can't have this power. Not for me. Uh, I do think uh, really there's like on the metal stand is... Pat Riley finally got a superstar to play ball and do the things that you needed. Talk to Shams. Say that you only want to go to Miami. Say that you'll demand a trade uh, anywhere else but Miami is an affront to you and all your lo- loyalty. He's whiffed, Pat Riley has, on a lot of superstars. He hasn't whiffed on them doing this. He finally got someone to play ball, and he whiffed. And that leads me to believe that they did approach this with a certain amount of arrogance. But for me, it's the leveraging of the media. And how poisoned the well was with anything with Miami. Basically, Cronin's like, our fan base has so convinced itself that Miami, forget Tyler Hero, has no pieces that they ended up spinning this into one first round draft pick, which will be low. I mean, not very, uh, not a lot of worth there. A couple pick swaps that they won't actually execute. And DeAndre Ayton and Drew Holiday? That's that's how we're going to go about this rebuild. And we're going to, we're going to hope. That we actually have leverage now with Drew Holiday? If you thought you had no leverage with Damian Lillard, lame duck Drew Holiday is getting you nothing. Cronin played himself. The Miami Heat played themselves. There are no winners in this except for the Milwaukee Bucks if Damian Lillard decides that he's going to play ball. That's the next step, and I look forward to seeing what he does do because now it's finally gotten interesting after months and months of too much talk about this one thing without actually any progress. You have right before media days and right before training camps, you have a seismic move, and now the next question is, Lillard, your bluff has been called. Now now what? Because now you're a symbol for player empowerment who makes $219 million, and you just got stripped of your power unless you're willing to make yet more of a mess as a starting point on uh, because a lot of people were saying of Toronto man it was this was interesting to watch he won't go there they're not championship ready he doesn't help them he can't say that about Milwaukee like he can't say he's not going to Milwaukee because of winning Milwaukee with Lillard is better than Miami Miami with Lillard is possibly better than Milwaukee he's a swing piece there and it's a smart move by Milwaukee but I want to know Billy I want to know what you were mm. doing, laughing at Pat Riley, because Mike Ryan is talking about arrogance, and maybe it is arrogance to say we're not going to overpay. Our offer is our offer. Our offer will not increase. It will not improve. We are not negotiating against ourselves. But they said they weren't going to overpay for him, and they said they weren't going to up their offer. And if Milwaukee or Toronto had a better offer, they can have him because in his late 30s, he's going to be making a lot of money. They weren't going to up the offer. Is that arrogance or is that just placing the proper value on how it is you construct your business? And if you whiff on a whale, you whiff on a whale. But they've whiffed on a lot of whales as of late. And this is, you would assume, the tail end of Pat Riley's career, right? So why not overpay? If you're going to get that piece to get you that last championship, why not overpay at this point if you're him? I was sitting in there, by the way, when it happened. We were about to do Mystery Crate, record a little things here, and then... Dan was coming back. We had to go live. There's a lot of scurrying about, lots of things moving. But you should be proud, Dan. I would say this. I would say you should be proud of this crew that you have put together here because people turned into a newsroom very quickly. And this was a show that you were gone and you came back and we were ready to go within minutes. Breaking news, going live on the YouTubes. And we're here now. Everyone except Stu Gatz, who you called and said Dan's not coming back and kept driving yeah. into... Uh, he said he could call in if you wanted to. I want to seize on something that part of the news breaking aspects that you reported earlier this week that okay if another team has a better offer than us go for it 
Now, we don't know exactly what Miami's offer was. Maybe you do. We know that Tyler Hero and none of the other prospects were really mentioned. We don't know anything about draft picks. We know there wasn't an Tyler increase. Hero. There wasn't an increase of all of their prospects, the Caleb Martins and all the other things after Tyler Hero draft picks. There just wasn't an upping of the offer. The offer was the same for months. It wasn't. They weren't going to bid against themselves. And the last couple of days, in talking to them about specifically Milwaukee and Toronto, I told you, they said, if they think they have a better offer, they can have him. We are not going to keep going up on this. Billy's not that wrong. That is arrogance. That Billy's not wrong that if you want to just get the star at any cost, add him with Jimmy Butler, add him with Kyle Lowry, bloated contracts three years from now is going to be a disaster. What, what I'm trying to get to the bottom of, and I'm sure you will get into news gathering mode after we get off of uh, YouTube and you've already uh, reached out to sources, but... Uh, I would like to know if this offer that Portland took was actually better or if this was just something that turned sour and people couldn't get past their own uh, their own grudges and it played out in front of our very our, our eyes on cable television. The part that's interesting now is that Tyler Hero becomes an even more polarizing player in the NBA, right? Because he's this player who the Heat have held on to time after time after time when the star has been out there. And in this case, Tyler Hero was reportedly part of this offer for Damian Lillard, but as the crux, as the centerpiece of it. And this really comes down to how the Heat value Tyler Hero. They look at Tyler Hero and a couple of first-round picks. If that's the crux of our trade, that's a really good offer for you guys because we know the player that Tyler Hero is. We know the way that we value him. And now... His play this season with this roster as they try to chase another Eastern Conference championship becomes that much more important. Dan, I mentioned that there is one winner in this, and that is the Milwaukee Bucks. And that's not exactly the case. It is the ringer. It is Woj. Because he beat everybody to this story. He's probably got a grin from ear to ear because it worked. Tainting the pool and saying that Miami's offer is unfair. And how dare they? Tyler Hero is not a good player. Like asinine things about Tyler Hero and, and Miami's assets. It worked. Working the worldwide leader, it worked for Cronin to the degree that they didn't send him to Miami. But I don't think they won in this. That's not that's not good. Now we probably overstated how bad Drew Holiday's contract is because yeah. it's got two years left. He wanted on it. to retire a buck. I don't know how this affects that. Drew Holiday helped win Giannis his one championship and then got dragged by Jimmy Butler in the postseason last year. Uh, I want to talk about all of the Miami tears that people will be enjoying today because. I have a question just so we're all on the same page here. So instead of just accepting that maybe Portland didn't want Miami's assets or think that they were good enough, instead the entire media has gotten together and colluded against the Heat and spread false information in order to sabotage the chance of Damian Lillard going to the Heat just to facilitate him going to any other team. Yes, I like how that sounds. That makes perfect sense. <laughs> okay. Makes Thank you, Billy. Sense. But, but Billy, I, they, I appreciate that. You, you realize as you were saying it how much sense you were making. I'm just yes. trying to make sure we're all on the same page. Yes. No, that that's exactly what now it, it's it's not a total it's not just what they got. I believe they got Nurkic off their books, but they they got DeAndre Ayton. What I'm saying here is the market did speak, and it wasn't this great overwhelming market. You also sound like a fool if you wanted Tyler Hero, a bevy of first round draft picks. Like if you look at all the articles that were written about what teams could actually offer and what was so, yeah, there wasn't a great market for Damian Lillard. Look, you have to, if you're Portland and you're a Portland fan, hope that the Drew Holiday swing piece that you're about to make, flipping him for something else, is something that's already in the works and that you're not just sitting here hoping that that move happens and you just have Drew oh, Holiday no, running no, on your but, roster. Well, wait a minute, though, Jeremy. When you talk about how quickly things change around here, especially if you're trying to avoid, as Mike Ryan is, because the Internet is going to be cruel and laughing at Miami, and Billy just gave voice to how and why. So explain it to me. ESPN conspired with Woj to make Damian Lillard do something that he didn't want to do to spite Miami and prevent Miami from being great because well, no, everyone Pat, is out to get us. No, I think Pat Riley was conspired with Damian Lillard telling Damian Lillard what to say publicly to force Portland to trade him to Miami. But 
Portland then also, and I guess Bill Simmons and the Ringer were involved in this too in some way. And Russillo. And yeah. Russillo, they were, yeah. I guess, apparently. And Woj. Were, Don't forget Woj. Were, and a lot of the ESPN podcasts. They were all well. in cahoots together working. Zach Lowe was the only standout uh, that was avoiding this particular God bless conspiracy. Him. He, would, he would make great points, and you could see how much it angered Woj. On behalf of Milwaukee. Just yeah. to be clear. No, on, no, no, no. On behalf of not Miami. On behalf got of it. not yeah. Miami. Yeah. You've got to okay. get that right. Yes, yes. No. But okay. because Miami is adept at being slippery, and because without Stugatz here, I believe our slipperiest is Tony. The scheme, Can I go now, Dan? The scheming Tony. I've no, waited long I enough, know, Dan. Real hoopers know, and Tony's a real hooper. Well, he and, didn't know this was happening. Uh, no, he didn't know this was happening, but he had an immediate reaction hooper. to it. Oh, it'll be the letter. Okay. This guy can't. Can't even guard a parked car. His what? defense, what not there. Mean? What do you mean? Parked cars don't move. Billy, he can't guard anybody. Yeah, I understand. I'm already this. over it. Damian Lillard, who? Doesn't matter. Yep. You know what? You know what we're gonna do here? What okay. Are we gonna do? Plan B. Plan B. Plan Embiid. Oh, Duh. Plan. Joel Embiid is our new whale. All right. Oh yeah. Oh, be are they? The Damian Lillard. Joel Embiid, get him here. I just realized, actually, that this is a crushing blow for Miami because it also takes Giannis out for a couple of years. Well, no, this may, maybe <laughs> maybe they were, maybe they're selling low on uh, Giannis, you know? They, they were tired of Giannis so Maybe there. now Miami Ship trades for both of them. That's yeah, probably I, what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Dan okay. okay. gets it now. <laughs> now you're understanding how this works. Lillard goes, Lillard goes to Milwaukee, gets Giannis, and they come back here yeah. for, uh, to, who, who do we have? Duncan uh, Robinson. Highsmith. Smith. <laughs> Jovic. I do want to recall what happened earlier this offseason where Barry Jackson was writing oracles about not just Lillard, but also Bradley Beal. And who ate your lunch with Bradley Beal? Phoenix, the same, the very same team that ate your lunch just a couple months prior with Kevin Durant. This is a recurring issue. Yes, he got Jimmy Butler with no cap room. That's like the one. No, no, no. He got Kyle Lowry too, and we all know how that worked out. They've had a desirable location, a competitive team, and they have swung out, swung out time and time again. They have just they have gone down and now it's getting to the point that they're a joke. Did you mean struck out? Yeah, sh- yeah, struck out. It's been swung a long missed. Day. That's swung, swung and missed. Swung it's okay. That's no, right. I, I said it once. I'm like, that didn't sound right. And Say then it you again. said it a second. And it <laughs> also didn't sound yeah, right. No, they, yeah. they, they, they struck out twice on these players, and they, they could have had Bradley Beal for nothing. This is where I would. And well, that was also, if you remember, everyone was colluding against that because Bradley Beal's agent's father something, and then everybody was working together against the right. Heat for that right. one. If you remember. Yeah, and don't forget what happened, the owner-to-owner conversation mm-hmm. between Phoenix and Brooklyn. Oh, I won't forget it. When Miami actually mm-hmm. thought, uh, we, I've reported exclusively, Kevin Durant thought he was coming to Miami. Yeah. Uh, something happened. I got on Dan Patrick's show with a mouthpiece on, and I shouted Damian Lillard to the heat a couple of hours ago. The audio wasn't great, and the lights went out, but I shouted You swung it. out. I swung out. And one of the things that I imagine that the audience is going to enjoy here is the whimpering and the lamenting and the excuse making and the criticizing and the turning on the heat. I have been accused of being a Pat Riley apologist because in this market, excellence until recently in all of the sports has been hard to come by. And during Dwayne Wade's time, the Miami Heat. How about the, talk to me when the Heat score seventy points in a game? I know they're coming for the city. The Dolphins are coming for the city that used to belong to Pat Riley. Pat Riley took that city from Don Shula, and Mike Ryan is now calling him arrogant. Mike Ryan is emotional about this, understandably. He is saying that uh, Pat Riley has swung out because uh, he is not getting the players that make Mike. You should be mad, Dan. They have you out here being their mouthpiece, looking like a fool, talking with that mouthpiece in your mouth. And you know what? You think you're a mouthpiece? No. You know what you are? A propagandist. Yeah. Wow. That's yeah. what's going I on need right to now. Know, I need to know if the last time they spoke was indeed July. Yeah. I need to know, right as this whole thing, which was very clearly, Don't it felt that. like posturing over the weekend, if it actually worked in getting Miami to pick up the phone and say, all right, let's do a deal. And if Portland just had no interest in doing the deal with them, there's a lot of reporting that needs to be done right now. And I am really mad 
I'm really hurt. Okay, but can you can can I just instead sad. of sad going to your yeah. emotions of I'm hurt and sad and mad? They're worse. They're worse again. They're worse. Okay. They they had a terrible off season. Right. They sent Kyle Lowry to talk to Billups that one time. You that's caught him right. on camera. I yeah. think that's what the deal was lost. That's yeah. Right. Maybe Billups got up because he's like, I can't do this. Mr. Big Shot. Right. Yeah. I can't I can't do this. You're just you're a shell. Yeah. I'm sorry. This is this is not gonna work out between us. Yeah. They lost Max Struess. They lost Gabe Vincent. Mm -hmm. What have they added to this team outside of the the, the growth and development of the young players? Josh Richardson. Oh, oh yeah, that's oh, right. No. Oh no. Oh, Mike Ryan's least just threw a ball to the third, the third row. Uh, I, I, he's, he's I know how you guys feel. He stepped out of bounds on the final possession. <laughs> They've also added Thomas Bryan as a big man to replace yeah. Cody oh, Zeller, no, which Ryan. is an Thomas, obvious upgrade. Thomas Bryan is a nice signing. No, that's an obvious you upgrade. You can't trust look, anyone with two first names. This team's going to look really similar to what you saw. You're going to see more Duncan Robinson than oh. you saw last year, oh, and you're going to well. see more Josh Richardson oh, than God. obviously you saw replacing an older Jimmy and Max Struess. And an older Jimmy. Look at Woj on TV. He can't hide it. He is. So happy. You can't hide how unhappy you are because you just said, by way of defense, as the internet comes at you, to laugh at what a failure the Miami Heat is. That, are. I, is that what, what you think is happening? I imagine yeah. all ten thousand people watching on our YouTube stream right now are being super kind in the They're comments. Probably, yeah. I bet you that yeah. what is happening right now so. is the cackling delight of being able to taste after Damian Lillard to the Bucks makes news. Mike Ryan whimpering, Thomas Bryant is a nice signing. And and that, that tastes that, so we, good to Rasillo. Oh, that tastes so good to the ESPN people. That. that tastes so yeah. good to oh, Woj. Ryan. They are here for you oh. to give them, Mike, your whimpering little, well, I know we lost Struess and Vincent, but uh, Hero wasn't there for, against the Celtics, and he'll make them better. Like, whatever your uh, whimpers are, people want to hear them, and I think one of them sits directly behind you. I believe... Uh, even though he will allege falsehoods, I believe that he uh, not here. he not only pounded fists with Taylor. I think I saw him do, and I Billy is Taylor's a Knicks fan. Taylor was so uh, he's happy. Like, oh, such no. a great day! Come on, such a great day. He just texted me. Let me, me tell you something out there, haters. This is the defending Eastern Conference yeah, champion. Yes, it is. All right, yeah. and we still don't know. If Lillard has agreed to actually go there. Yeah. That's right. He just texted me. So I haven't he, smiled like this in years. I, you don't understand. I saw, listen, Billy, Billy, this is the thing. It's not just Taylor. I am not making this up. Billy, I'm not going to say he's a joyless creature, but I will wait, say. Wait a, wait a tick. A teacher. He is a, uh, a, a little bit inflexible with his emotions. And I am telling you, I saw this. I don't have video proof, but I saw it. He did a smiling actual somersault. I saw. I, I I couldn't believe physically that he had it in him. I'm quite limber. I, I, well, you used to be. You used to be a pole vaulter. I was stunned. I have not seen. Oh no! More oh news. no! He's more, coming to Miami. More news. Embiid. No, we have comment from Jimmy <laughs> Butler's IG feed. I'm good at the height of professionalism. I'm just gonna play it from my phone. Oh, this could be about Y'all coffee. Look to the box for tampering. Y'all do. I'm just gonna put that out there. Yeah. Y'all didn't hear it from me, but I heard it through somebody. Y'all look down for tampering. He says, look into the Bucks for tampering. Wow. 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 We're back then. Oh, baby. Boy, did the trade. The, top. <laughs> the Boy, the, the, the trade. Loser. The lament of the loser. Get the lawyers involved. No, Boy, the <laughs> trade. If... If they didn't talk That's to the Miami, if, look, there's collusion here of the highest well, order. That part. You have you the media arm, a league partner. Ago. You have tampering now alleged by Jimmy Butler, which is, I mean, somebody needs to look into it. He's negotiating in bad faith, maybe. What? Investigation. This wasn't a this wasn't a fair market. Which <laughs> you gotta be kidding me? You have to be joking that the, now we're going to take the it Portland to the tampering. <laughs> you can't. When you've lost, you can't run over there and shout tampering. Do you remember what you yelled at Dan Gilbert when when Bosch and LeBron and Dwayne Adam got Silver together? Adam Silver needs to stop this, they Dan. Invested. Yeah. <laughs> Adam Silver needs to stop this. This is way worse than with Chris Paul. Exactly. Way, way worse than Chris Paul. Paul. Trade. Way, way worse. Boyd the trade. Boyd the trade. Precedent with Chris Paul. If Mike Pence has the courage it, if you did <laughs> exactly <laughs> okay put it on the poll please juju should mike pence step in and have the courage to uh nix the trade <laughs>
<laughs> Don't say Knicks. Taylor's happy enough yeah. as it is. Of the Damian. Yeah. Well, I, I couldn't believe the somersault. I hope the video crew caught this because Taylor. There's executives out there that no. went back to New York and have flown no, I, back I, down. I, it seems they're just watching out here laughing well, at you I'm, guys. I've got to tell you something, uh, Billy. I'm uncomfortable saying this, honestly, publicly as, as somebody who's running a company. Um, Taylor had an erection. Huh. I, I didn't mean to look at it Taylor, that way. Taylor, stand up. Let's I, see your boner. I did not Taylor, mean, stay, I, stay, stand up. Sit down. Is, sit down. Stand up. No, Don't no. Taylor, Taylar, sit Taylor, down. Taylor, Only fans. Sit down. Let's see it myself. Where do you get that Knicks hat from? Stay, stay there. there. Yeah, where'd that Knicks hat from? He had a different hat on her. I'm going to look at it. If Taylor stand up, we're not friends. I'm going to look at it. Only fans. No, keep it. Keep it. Put it behind Mike's Twitter subscriptions. You can put it behind. Don't put it behind nothing, Taylor. No! Wait, yo. <laughs> um, he is way too happy because I believe that in this sport, there are a couple of things that are just the greatest of things. And one of them is being able to laugh at Miami. All right. We have we have the video now, Dan, wow. of what I played off of my phone at the Hyde right. Professionalism. Oh, uh, shout out to the studio team for turning this around. And you can see how distraught yeah. Jimmy Butler is. <laughs> Yo, NBA, man. Y'all need to look into the Bucks for tampering. Y'all do. I'm just going to put that out there. Y'all didn't hear it from me, but I heard it through somebody. Y'all look at him for tampering. Is he getting his hair done? Anybody. My man. That is the weakest. Well, I think it's a shot because, you know, the NBA, in an unprecedented step, find yep. Damian Lillard. Another colluder. Yeah, for everybody doing, was against Miami. Yeah, and then having to find James Harden after that because Woj was doing the thing for Maury where he was doing for Cronin. Yeah. So look, it it goes it goes all the way to the top. Is I'm Harden, talking. Is Iger still available? Is in on this? Oh, well, Harden. that, well, Harden's Embiid. a piece of the Embiid trade. We get them both. Yeah. Oh, okay. TNT on. Is in on it. Jimmy right. Harden, Embiid, yeah. Hero, Thomas Bryant, Bam. Yeah. You know what? Thomas Bryant. NBA yeah, champion yeah. Thomas yeah. Bryant. Kyrie, Kyrie. Lillard's shot may be wet, but our powder is still dry. <laughs> Attaboy. <laughs> How about that? Attaboy. Bar. Taking a look at what the heat actually is, because this last season was a little bit hard on the measurements. You got an eight seed that you're feeling all season long that you do not trust because that eight seed cannot shoot. That team has now lost two of its shooters, Gabe Vincent and Max Strews. One of its best shooters, a guy that we've been arguing for months, is someone who's a top 75, top 50 player in the league, Tyler Hero, a value that Miami had that Portland did not recognize as value and neither, neither did the conspiratorial media that is out to make Mike wrath-filled. Tyler Hero returns. They beat Boston. Look, that run during the playoffs, you cannot expect that to happen again. It doesn't have a lot of precedent in the sport. You cannot expect to beat in five games a Milwaukee team that was already better than you all season by leaps and bounds. One of the biggest upsets in the history of the sport. You can't just expect to beat Boston every time, even though you've been beating up on Boston. I think that's a fair expectation. But the argument that the Miami Heat would make, both in the finals loss to the Lakers and in the finals loss to Denver, is that Tyler Hero's health would make a difference if it was available, and they will not. They they were only willing to go so far on trading and moving assets to get Damian Lillard. You can fairly criticize them by saying they shouldn't have let Vincent and Struess go if you weren't going to get him, and you were going to risk Tyler Hero being mad at you because now Tyler Hero knows that you were trying to trade him, but. They can make a plausible argument without it being the whimpering Thomas Bryan is a nice signing of this team has been good enough to be a championship contender. And both times that it was good enough, Tyler Hero wasn't healthy and available yeah, for them. Yeah, but is it good enough to beat Milwaukee with oh. Damian Lillard? Well, is it good enough to beat the Celtics again? Wow. Yes, yeah. Again is always the yeah. question, though, right? They just did these things, and they're now replacing players in Gabe Vincent and Max Struess, who I really like. We know how well Gabe's they played. Player, but come on. No, no, no. They're but both they really those. good players, they but those. they make those. And and Josh Richardson was one of the guys who they made, and they're now going to rehab. They have – it's role man. players, guys. No, but, I mean, look, this is 
rehab. from from I a realistic rehab. from a realistic. I'm turning to hard drugs if Josh Richardson plays meaningful. Well, from a realistic this. perspective don't, don't with this that. team, they can Market. absolutely get to the same places that they were before with this roster slightly revamped. You sound like a fool. A cool, yeah. No, they they were, they were, another propaganda they were an seed. They were an eight seed. They were terrible. I, they almost lost. They the were play-in. horrible. Okay, they weren't John terrible. John Collins had 37 rebounds. Thank God Jared. he's in Utah now. How do you get him? He's How does Utah? he come down yeah. here? Doesn't he like the show? Hey, John, come bail us out. Who will Jared? trade with? Does no one like us? No one likes us. Mm, yeah. No one wants to trade with us. Mm. It's unfair. Mm. I want to know why it is that Billy muttered under his breath through all of Jeremy's analysis, company man. Well, I mean, it had to be pointed out. Yeah, the... For the sake of accuracy. The asterisk at the bottom. Yeah. Can you elaborate, though? Because well, he works for the Heat. Yeah. I don't. Okay, can you elaborate? He works for the Heat. He yeah. goes on and he, he does the Heat. He's holding up babies. And he stuff. Holds up. Yeah, exactly right. I forgot about that. On the road rally, he was there this being the another prop- of that. propagandist. He's there in the halftime doing the thing with the microphone, talking to the people, telling us how great the Heat are. Then he I'm a sideline the- reporter on Bally Sports on the Miami Heat broadcasts. Mm. Ah, you said it. See, Miami Heat. See it? Admission right. of guilt. The Mullins, too. He held up babies, Dan. He said, there's a baby here. Remember that? We have that somewhere. Uh, uh, TV, get them find to, that. Get them to find it. Uh, get them to find the uh, the video of uh, Jeremy doing the, the objective report reporting that you have at a rally where they asked me to go be the fan dan put him in such a bad spot like, find something from seven are, months ago please really billy putting someone in a bad spot i'm trying before. to help the product yes, never been done that's what you're trying I'm here to trying do. to help everybody i'm sure you are uh that is something that um uh, what the hell is a too many kamara makes me want to go in there and punch you in the groin it is such a blasphemous lie and then and while you're somersaulting uh kick you in uh, the esophagus. Ouch. Sounds like that hurts. Yeah, well, because he is not here to help anybody, but... I'm just trying to move things along. No, not really. You like to stop them. <laughs> that, that you are the opposite of everything that you say. Yeah. I could be good. You know those guys at the airport that just go like that move the plane? Right, yeah. No, you're not trying to move things along. You like to stop them. Jeremy was trying to do a credible job of reporting, and you undermine everyone around here by doing things like whispering falsehoods. company man under your breath. And just because you sing it as falsehoods doesn't make it He's any right. truer. We're getting stuck in the mud here. I'm trying yep. to move you along. With yes. The, uh, the, the thi- I don't think we're stuck in the mud. The thing that I want to analyze is that Jeremy, who is, I believe, someone who goes more homerific on the heat coverage than even Mike Ryan. Ryan, has just had, like many Heat fans, the disappointment of you thought you were getting the big guy in the transaction age where everybody loves to have the big player transaction, and now you're in the sucky, sucky spot of, and this has been 12 years of Heat basketball, when you swing and miss, everyone laughs at you a little extra hard because you're Miami, because you've been at the top or near the top of the sport for 12 years, because people don't like this thing in Miami because it's loud and obnoxious and boastful about its winning. Billy is saying that you are bought in your analysis. And my, my question to you, Jeremy, as someone who cares about the heat, what is the fair criticism as Mike goes emotional on this and says the Heat are arrogant, Pat Riley has failed again, and every time something like this happens, that criticism can be valid. Riley welcomes the measurements as someone who's championship or bust. That criticism doesn't bother him that he swung out. It, it does, it, but he wanted Lillard at a price, and they couldn't get, with all of the leverage, they couldn't get Portland to agree to that price. And they failed to get a superstar that would have sold tickets and would have made them better and would have made them more interesting, too. Yeah, I mean, look, everybody wanted Damian Lillard here. Jimmy Butler wouldn't be going on social media talking about Damian Lillard if not for the fact that he was so obviously linked to being here and that everybody wanted him here. Um, Pat Riley had a price that he set that point. He wasn't willing to go past, you know, based off based off your reporting and based off the obvious results in this scenario. He didn't end up with Damian Lillard because he wasn't willing to to give up the entire roster. I think what what really is the interesting part to look at when you analyze the team now from here is how many of those trades were withholding your own assets and not being willing to give up enough to get a superstar versus how the value of your assets are viewed. 
because in some of those scenarios, maybe they were willing to sort of empty the, the, the cupboard of assets. But because of the way that Tyler Hero is perceived or other players on this team, it doesn't meet the mark. But in some of these scenarios, they're just not willing to go past the amount of assets that it took to make this trade happen. And so now you look at a roster where, once again, this core is going to have to try to get it done. But but the thing is, is that this core has been the best core in the Eastern Conference for the last four seasons. Tyler Hero, Jimmy Butler, Bam Adebayo. They've, they've brought the heat to the Eastern Conference Milwaukee's Finals better three times. Milwaukee is better. Milwaukee, but that's hard stop. Milwaukee, no, emo- Milwaukee and, and is better. Wait, 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 wait. Let's see if my pen says a courage. No, well, and, and in Wisconsin. And ultimately, like Milwaukee's the better team now on paper, and, and Milwaukee was the better team on paper last season. But there was a reason I was emotionally Homer Heat guy coming in here with sunglasses and a suit Throwing on, babies in saying that Jimmy Butler was the better player than Giannis. And the reality is, yeah. Milwaukee may now have the two best players in that series, right? Damian Lillard and Giannis Antetokounmpo uh, are remarkable. But there's no reason to believe that this all of a sudden means the Heat, like some have insinuated already on social media, now they're not even going to be a playoff team. Like, this is still one of the top teams in the Eastern okay, Conference. Okay, but they, they were an eight seed last year, and I do want to analyze a piece of this that I, I do think is interesting, which is the value of Hero. I have told you before, man, did the internet laugh at me on this one, that the Miami Heat, when Tyler Hero came into the league, thought that he could be Devin Booker. That seems like a wild overstatement. That seems like they uh, have an improper assessment of what he could be, I think, of course, that they are wrong on that. But it is something they thought when they got him. You generally know what a player is within the first three years of his career. And I can imagine a lot of people listening to this are saying, Tyler Hero's not that good. That's why the Heat did not get Damian Lillard, because Portland, not just having that kind of asset there that was a redundant skill set, they didn't think that Tyler Hero was worth whatever the Heat thought Tyler Hero was worth. And now it's not very exciting to the Miami Heat fan base to go into a season with the idea of, the Heat are okay with, we will show you what Tyler Hero is worth, what we think he's worth through his growth, through growing, not just him, but Jovic is somebody, that a young player that they think is going to be Danilo Gallinari in two years, and they will they will discover you know who other Struces and Vincent. You know what would have been cool? Danilo Gallinari two years ago. Yeah. Mm. Not Danilo Gallinari in two years. The Rooster. They miss. They miss. And by the way, we have video of Jeremy Taché allegedly not being a Heat uh, employee here. We're going to toss to the video right now. From the moment this game started, what is that it is continued here as the Miami Heat have just upset the Denver Nuggets. We go down, go crazy. We're high-fiving. Everybody's ready for an unbelievable night right here in Miami. The Kaseya Center was ready for a great night from the jump as this energy around the entire lower bowl was electric. This is what the ringer offices look like right now. It, you think that it's just the ringer, Mike. Mike Schur, who's in the middle of the fight of his There's life. There's a baby! <laughs> the they were hoisting this babies. Was ready from the moment. It was a single baby that was hoisted. It was not Ooh. babies, plural. You didn't see the other side of the other side. side. Hoisting they were, babies into the air! They were hoist- there, was, there was one baby hoisted. Hoisted, and I'm not sure you didn't plant that baby so you could say there are babies being hoisted. Yeah, in the now you get it. Here is <laughs> I saw. Into the I can't remember the skit. Was it Saturday Night Live? No, maybe it was. Was it Chappelle's show? Of Arsenio Hall coming out to his audience and it going so crazy that eventually babies were just hurled it is into, in living color. into the air. And that's Thank what it was you. like. I the, appreciate the it. The funny bro. next step is Tyler Hero requesting a trade, right? <laughs> And then you guys have to, oh, you have to honor Tyler Hero and send him where he wants. It's like, you guys wanted to stay you here know, now. You know who would really help this team out right now is Drew Holiday. That's what I'm hmm. saying. Let's call Portland. Hey, With the same hey, pieces. Portland. Let's go. Look, I know we're a little raw in our feelings, yeah, but God. we could use Drew Holiday. <laughs> hey, Portland. Hey, big head. <laughs> Think bigger, guys. Steph Curry's out there. Oh, Wait, what, what are you doing? Steph Curry's out there. What are you doing? He can there? be got for a price, Dan. What, what does, does that, that mean? mean? Exactly what I said. Think bigger. You're thinking Kyle. You're thinking Kyle Lowry. You you're never thinking know. Drew Holiday. You're thinking you up know. here, uh, over over the screen where you can even see it. Steph Curry. You never know you the never next know? disgruntled superstar, even though ninety percent of the time it's it's James Harden. 
Uh, you lost or Kyrie Irving. You lost the ability to get Rodney Magruder. Rodney, 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 Rodney. Rodney. Talk about Rodney. Steph Curry, uh, Tony. I'm going to need you to sit in the penalty box. Uh, what? Uh, for I'm he's for not the, available. You're not. Yes. The thing is, you're not using your third eye, Dan. I, I, you're yeah. using the two eyes in your face. Take your all face, three of your floor. eyes and go sit your ass in the. Here's penalty. a player that. Oh no! Wow. Here's a player that doesn't fit at all. Trey Young. Wow. <laughs> from a from a cultural standpoint, That's, but you know. no. No, you can make Just, it work. No, I can. If anybody can make this. it work, it's Coach Bo. Will, I'm not ready to do this. Okay. Yeah, I, I am not prepared to do this with you guys. Um, Tatum, you, you would think? say no to Trey Young. Um, you would Tatum. No there's Trae some Young. things about his game I like. I dare you to say no, Trey Young or Tatum. I don't want to do the f- the next transaction because th- you know how we got into this mess. Oh, yeah, we no, got no, into no. this mess because immediately after they lost in the finals, we pivoted very quickly to, and now they'll get Lillard. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not ready yet to go yeah. to the next step on this of where Embiid is or Curry, which makes me want to fight Tony. Like, I mean, what are you doing? What? You, yeah, to, yeah. Let's. You know what, what about Anthony Edwards? No, no. Yeah. Yes. Oh, hey, we already Ooh, laid the seat. That's the one. Edwards. Uh, Edwards. Uh, Luca. Yeah. 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 Uh, uh, Embiid. Yeah, the ranch <laughs> now you're using your third eye. And, and Steph. Anthony for, Edwards for, makes sense because a Rod's there it. now. Yeah. He has the Miami connection. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. This dude's oh, been I'm back. This that dude's wasn't been waiting minutes. in the wings. That was not Skipper too has a meeting in there, so I can't go in. <laughs> oh, okay. That's too bad. This dude's been waiting in the wings, waiting for the signing, the acquisition to happen. But now that it's not... I, he can come out and give us a big moral boost. Yeah. Who? And that's Goran Dragic. Yeah. 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 Come on, go. Morale. Let's go. No, he's a free agent. He's just waiting. Well, he's going back to Milwaukee now. Oh. <laughs> His takes. Oh, now you've that'll gone, hurt more. Now you've gone too well, far, Milwaukee. You take. Let me you, just go through my rolodex here of players that have openly volunteered their services to Miami, and next down on the list is Austin Rivers. Hey, oh, oh. all right. What can I ask something? What is the Goran Dragic situation? Because Goran Dragic likes to make you feel like he loves the Heat, and every opportunity he has to come here, he goes elsewhere. You shush. What is this game you that shush. he's playing with you guys? There was one like, of those oh, Dragon, he's free. Oh, Dragon, Dragon. Oh, he's in Brooklyn. Oh, Dragon, Dragon. Oh, he's in Milwaukee. One oh, Dragon, Dragon, Dragon. He'll go anywhere. One he'll of those back to Slovenia just to stay coming here. <laughs> one he of those doesn't want to be on the Heat. Why? The league didn't allow it one of those times. Oh. But really? Do you tell? Well, it was too soon. Huh. That they have rules against it, but you're right. But this time it's going to be different, and he's probably PG one at this point. Wow! How many times has he's got the culture though, Dan? You can't argue that. How That's many right. times has Goran Dragic snubbed the Heat? Is it three times now? Because the Bulls are in there too. There, there have been three times that Mike Ryan expected Goran Dragic to come to the Heat as a Heat lifer, and he went to the Bulls, and he went to the Bucks, and he went somewhere else. I sent him a Slovenian voice note on a means phone. <laughs> But how many times is it now? Three betrayals. You, which is we the, swung out three times. Which is the better feeling for people who want to eat Mike Ryan's tears here? Thomas Bryant is a nice signing, or we can still get Goran Dragic, who uh, I've failed to get three different times. But I'm going to keep going to where my dignity used to reside, and instead be covered in shame because even Goran Dragic rejects me. That knee brace get bigger by the second on Goran Dragic's ass. Played five games in Toronto. Whoa. <laughs> See? Every player I want to go out after what? Jimmy Butler has burned bridges with. Uh, wait a minute. There's... How about Kawhi? Paul oh. George. Oh. Oh. See, this is oh. why we keep the powder dry. Oh. Yes, yes, <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yep. Oh, man, we are f- <laughs> Hey, how's your fantasy team doing? I know you love these questions during football season because fantasy football goes with your normal national obsession of football. But you know what else does? I, Mike Ryan, am here to tell you it's Miller time. That's right. Miller Lite. It's only got 96 calories and 3.2 carbs per 12-ounce serving. And it's got this smooth taste with a crisp, clean finish. You get all the taste that you crave without the calories. That beer, the one I'm talking about right now, Miller Lite is the perfect supplement to your football season. Oh, that dependable flavor. That beautiful white can. Just 96 calories. 
Whether you're at the stadium, playing fantasy football, or watching the game at home or at a bar, Miller Lite is here to make your football season taste like Miller time. So why don't you make it Miller time all season long? Get Miller Lite delivered right to your door. Visit MillerLite.com slash Dan, where you can find it pretty much anywhere that sells beer. Celebrate responsibly. Miller Brewing Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, 96 calories and 3.2 carbs per 12 ounces. This episode of the Dan Levitard Show with Stu Gatz is brought to you by KFC's new hot and spicy wings. Get fired up this fantasy season with eight pieces of spicy marinated hand-breaded wings for just $4.99. Are you kidding me? They're a can't-miss call for whatever the fantasy gods throw your way. In the midst of a managerial hot streak, keep it rolling with KFC's new hot and spicy wings. Did you just assemble the worst lineup in fantasy history? Who cares? You can get eight KFC new hot and spicy wings for $4.99 right now. Marinated in spice, hand-breaded to perfection. KFC's new hot and spicy wings are here. Eight pieces for just $4.99. It's finger looking good. Thursday night football is on, and it's only on Prime. All of your favorite teams, all of your favorite players, and an iconic broadcast team featuring Al Michaels and Kirk Herbstreet. Be sure to check out the incredible matchups all season long. Thursday night football, it's on Prime. Pre-game coverage begins at 7 p.m. Eastern with TNF Tonight, presented by Verizon. Not a Prime member? Not a problem! Simply sign up for a 30-day free trial, and you can cancel at any time. Restrictions apply. See Amazon.com slash Amazon Prime for details. I can get a mean for you if you'd like. Do you want yeah, to talk sure. to a mean off a of plan? All right. Sure. Let's call a mean. And yeah. uh, I'd like everyone to be able to go home for the day, though. It has been oh, a Oh, we yeah. still have Mr. Crates. I sleep here. Yeah. 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 I can throw a hut. Don't. I'm walking right across the street. And I'm forming a picket line. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Wait. The, right, the writer strike is over. Hold on a uh, but striking? Pat needs to text Dan back. Strike is on. Yeah. yeah. Media day. Wait, is who, who are we picketing against? The Heat or the league or the, the media or the woes? All, all, all of them. All of them. All of them. Everybody. That's a and bit disorder. And we're also holding up a sign please no Austin Rivers. Yeah. Uh, it's just no. You yeah. guys need to understand uh, what I'm saying here when I tell you the delight of people at what has just happened to Miami. Mike Schur is in the middle or has just concluded a giant fight where Hollywood and its writers and its actors have defeated the uh, greedy CEOs who uh, wanted to set back uh, writing and Hollywood with all of their greed and unfair, uh, unjust labor practices. Mike Schur has been in the middle of a fight. He's been unavailable to the show because it's consumed his life. He has asked to do the entire local hour tomorrow, uh, which would be 6 a.m. his time. Uh, he is asked to do just so that he can spend the entire time laughing at us because the Miami Heat did not get Damian Lillard. You can catch a hell of a Georgia Tech preview one week early. I think we need to allow it, Mike. I Haynes think we, King playing quarterback now for the Ramblin' Wreck. I think we we need to allow uh, Mike Schur. This is, look, man, we were talking about having uh, – Bill Simmons' face hung from the rafters here, the meme of him losing in uh, Boston in Game 7 to Miami. I believe we need to allow the Boston fan to have his voice heard on this program and to laugh <laughs> at Miami Heat fans. Like, we have to. You don't like that one, Tony? You They've don't had like their voice heard. No. Sorry. No. No. What? Get out of here, GJ. They've had their oh, voice heard no. all the time. Heat culture. You capitulated. <laughs> what well, is their voice? Bill Simmons is their voice. The entire anti-Miami agenda That's is right. the voice. Guys, wow. it's been there in front of your eyes on the TV screens playing out. Wow. This is a scandal. Scandal. Is it going to get louder? Because I, Well, we I, have, we have before we word just from Damian Lillard. That Damian Lillard is just going to go ahead and go to Milwaukee. Can I take you back to February 18th, 2021, when Dame was doing a Q&A on Twitter and someone said, Dame... Can you come to Milwaukee when Bud is gone? Question mark. Dame Lillard quote tweeted, "No, no, no, no." That is no, a tweet no. from a year ago. Okay, uh, two it, years ago. It, it is Lillard's move and a half. now. Uh, your move, Dame. If you don't want to be in Milwaukee, uh, enough of Dame. We got to move on collectively as a fan base, as a city. Plan and bead. We need to move on. We just Dame. You didn't want to be here bad enough. He didn't do the things that he needed to do to get here. Mike, how do I get you to protest across from the arena with that CO no sign with just the no? Like, how do I get, how do I close? I have to go to the U.S. Open Cup match in Fort Lauderdale, and uh, I'm already late and kick off set 830. Messi's not playing. He's got to do with traffic. Okay, so we can't video anyone walking around protesting the heat with a no sign and the protest. We can send Taylor with a C sign. 
Is there? A, is there? A, I, you know what? Let's do that. Let's send Taylor and his erection across the street. Allegedly. Yes. Uh, let's t- with a C sign to go ahead and celebrate the Miami Heat uh, for failing here. Let's uh, let's do something with video here as a closeout as Mike Ryan tries to get uh, Amin on the phone. Uh, breaking news because you've been jostled into being a news gathering organization here. We will have Amin in moments. I'm just checking the sound quality as he's on his phone in a in in a he's in driving. A cab. He's yeah, in this a, seems all right. dangerous. Hello, Amin. Nice hat, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I mean, you're you're on mute. All right, you're, you're on mute. You're on mute. We'll go to you in a second. Uh, it is hard to onboard look at me people. Drive. No, look, look at me drive. Look at me drive with both my hands. Yes, that's that makes so much sense. He's driving. Yes. I mean, yes. Go, Billy. I'm driving. Look at me drive backwards, Billy. Oh my God, I'm like Biggie in that music video. <laughs> Why are you furious? Why are you so mad? Why are you mad at us? It's just silly. Because of- it's silly, like. Because you guys know, I like, hey, where's the mean? He just stepped off a plane. He's gonna get. He's gonna call us as soon as that. And then as soon as I get off a plane and call, it's like, wait, but he's in a car? No, guys, I'm in the studio. It's actually this is all a Zoom background. I'm in the studio. It's all professional. Don't no worries. Why are you yelling? Don't worry about that, that sign back there. Why are you yelling at us? We're just calling you because of the news. We want to hear expert analysis. You are our foremost basketball insider. I didn't hear anything you said. The connection <laughs> dropped out. Just evaluate the trade, the, the the collusion amongst the league and its partners. <laughs> Don't ask leading questions. Yeah, first of all, it's not collusion. It's a, it's a spite deal, man. Your boy Joe Cronin. I told you. I told you. I was right. A spite deal, man. <laughs> all right. Uh, this is what, what did Joe Croyo do? <laughs> Joe Croyo. Joe Cronin. Uh, no, it, I mean, like this is. You can't tell me this is the best deal available for them unless they have like a massive drew holiday uh like seven thousand pick return happening on deck but it's like other than that they they really didn't help themselves that much better they got a guy in deandre Eden that phoenix couldn't wait to get rid of um i, I thought everybody got better except the blazers i don't know what the blazers are doing i like you can tell me that miami's package wasn't the best you can't tell me that this package is better Oh, and slash, or you can't tell me that Miami couldn't have figured out a way to help them get this level of crap if that's what they were looking for. Can you tell us what else you found interesting here? Forgive me, I was looking for the Joe Carroyo sound. In God we trust. It is that God that's been protecting me. In Magic God sound. we trust. It Sorry. is that God Long that's sound. been protecting me. I'll come right back to you. There it is. What else was interesting here to you? Because what's going to be the next step on Damian Lillard? What's he going to do? Is he just going to go to Milwaukee quietly? Well, first of all, the Billy Corbin soundboard is a dangerous game. The most dangerous game, in fact. But as far as what the next step is, this is the interesting thing because Giannis, of course, has been saber-rattling all summer long talking about, I'm not signing an extension unless you guys show me that you're committed to winning. And I think it's hard to argue with going out and get Damian Lillard for Drew Holiday's corpse and some some toenail clippings isn't what are you doing? making this team significantly better. So what, what do you what, mean, what am I doing? I mean, what are you saying? You're calling people crud and toenail clippings and you just called someone a corpse. No. I, it's Drew, hey, you think Drew Holiday is at his peak right now? No, there's a difference this, between this, being in your peak and being a corpse. There are a lot of stops between man, those two things. Man, it ain't, it, ain't, it ain't that many more stops. It ain't that many more stops. He's he's a good player. I'm not saying he's not a good player. You said he was a corpse. If, you're, a if cor- you're Portland, if you're Portland and you are committed to your future, you can't tell me that this is a massive step in their future. It really isn't, right? Like Drew Holiday is someone who – has been talking about retiring openly. So I don't know how somehow, like, no, no, this is where we'll go with this. Don't don't talk to me about Tyler Hero. Don't talk to me about other young players. Give me a guard who's talking about retirement, right? So that portion of it is whatever. I don't know what Portland's doing. But for Milwaukee, it's not only getting Damian Lillard and adding him to a team that was already one of the best teams in the league. It's not only convincing Giannis, hey, we got stuff here. It's also convincing Giannis not to go somewhere else. So 
in a weird chess move, the Bucks not only took Damian Lillard away from Miami, they took Giannis away from all the other teams, Toronto, New York, Miami, all the other teams that were like, hey, maybe Giannis will be available. So my qu- kudos to the, to the Bucks, man. It was, a, it was a great move. My question to you, though, is about the macro. Before you came on here, I was talking about, is Damian Lillard now going to be the crossroads spot where the superstar asking for a trade doesn't have the power to go wherever he wants, or is he going to keep going? Is Damian Lillard going to do what has been threatened, which is, I'm not reporting to a team that trades for me if it's not Miami? I'd be surprised if he doesn't report to Milwaukee. Just given the caliber of that team. They didn't send them to Indiana or Toronto where it would still be kind of a ways away. They sent them to one of the best teams in the league. They had just given up a guard who, again, had openly talked about retirement not too long ago. Like, Milwaukee made out great. I think Damian Lillard, I, he'd love to be in Miami, but, man, I, I find it hard to believe that he'd look at Milwaukee and say, absolutely not. Now, if it doesn't work, down the line, if it's uh, not, if it just isn't the the situation or scenario that he thought it would be, perhaps a Miami trade will be revisited down the line. But again, if you're Milwaukee, what did we lose? What did we lose in yeah. order to engage in this gamble? I mean, and that's the big thing. I mean, it shows the importance of getting other teams involved in the deal because a lot of the anger from the Blazers fan base and uh, rival fan bases of the Miami Heat was. Well, you can't get Damian Lillard for nothing. You can't get Damian Lillard for Tyler Hero. That's insulting. And they just got Damian Lillard for a, a contract that we're debating whether or not it's a, a bad contract or a terrible contract and a first-round draft pick. That's not going to be great. They got Damian Lillard for nothing, and the response is, yeah, no, that's 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 cool. That's that's way better. Bag of donuts. Right, no, it's, it's, it's insane and – you know, even the Aiton part, man, like, I don't think you guys know how burnt out Aiton and Phoenix was. Uh, this is not a situation where it was tenable. And I'm, look, I haven't talked to anybody. I don't know anything. I don't know anything. I haven't spoken to anyone. But I guarantee you, Phoenix is head over heels to get Nurkic in over Aiton. Not because he's a better talent or better, you know, ceiling, but because. Nurkic gives them what they need right now. Toughness, rebound, defense, a guy who can uh, pass a little out of the high post. He gives them a win-now guy. And Aiden is always going to be a guy like, maybe he'll figure it out, maybe he won't. Can you explain to us what the league view is, as if there was such a thing, of Tyler Hero? Can you tell me, can you explain to me what his value actually is? What is the correct appraisal on how good of a player he is? Right, so maybe like a year or two years ago, we talked about R.J. Barrett, Jordan Poole, Tyler Hero, Tyrese Maxey. Those guys are all kind of in the same, they live in the same neighborhood. I think Tyrese Maxey lives in the nicest penthouse. I think Jordan Poole probably lives, you know, in the most modest one. And then R.J. and Tyler Hero are kind of in the middle. they're, They're middle of that grouping of players. These aren't players that are surefire all-stars, but they're guys that you could look at and say, well, you know, one day if they keep playing, keep improving, they play on a good enough team, they get a big enough role, I think they could be an all-star or two-time all-star or something like that. I think Tyler Hero is respected. I don't think his contract is out of order. Like I said, it's right in line with the guys like R.J. Barron and Jordan Poole. And, I, you know, I guess Max is going to be the highest paid out of that whole group. Um, but, again, I'm not – not denying Portland's desire for something that was not roster duplication, given that they have Simons and Sharp and Scoot Henderson. They didn't need Tyler Hero. I get it. I'm just trying to figure out how Drew Holiday somehow is that's that's the one. I mean, that, it seems like a high price to pay for someone to, I guess, be a veteran experience guy for them. I, I don't know. I don't know. And again, go back to DeAndre Ayton. I, again, I, I feel like a deal could have been made involving the Suns, involving the uh, the Miami Heat that could have uh, accomplished that goal. Last thing, we'll get you out of here on. Uh, can you uh, address Mike Ryan's criticism that the Miami Heat has failed, Pat Riley has failed, they have swung out, oh. they have uh, not gotten a whale again, and it's because of arrogance? 
Yeah, I mean, like, we did this with Mike before, right? Like, I feel like this is now a yearly occurrence. Mike says, Pat Riley's lost it, and the Miami Heat have messed up, and then things seem to work out, so. And when it comes to acquiring the superstar, when, do, when does it you want, Mike? What do you I want, want a superstar. Mike, want? I, I wanted no, someone that can help a, a reigning right. Eastern Conference champion. Yeah, they could have had yeah. Bradley Beal that goes to Phoenix. They could have had Kevin Durant he goes to Phoenix. Yeah. The, they could have had Damian Lillard. Damian Lillard's actually playing ball, and he goes to Milwaukee, and he goes to Milwaukee for peanuts because we decided to play this pissing contest publicly yeah. where media per juggernauts such as Adrian Wojnarowski and Dan Lebetard are out here playing this weird game mm -hmm. of tug-of-war. Mm -hmm. It's a, It was an arrogant oh. approach from an arrogant franchise. Hey, yo. Toss out, toss out the whole LeBron thing. What has Pat Riley done? <laughs> so it sounds like you guys are blaming Dan here. No. I mean, he did push Wade out the door. Don't forget that. That, that still haunts you, huh, Dan? I, uh, the accusation is an annoying one, given that Wade doesn't feel that way. Uh, what is happening in your car right now? Is this family that's confused by why is daddy giving gas baggy analysis again? Yes, yes. I took, I took my kid to the Aces uh, Wings playoff game last night. Oh! Yeah, so we just got getting back from, from Vegas right now. Yes, you do. Uh, Shout out to Sydney Colson, yes, a metal art, metal art uh, uh, collaborator. All right, nice seeing you, Amin. We've missed you this week. All Thank right. you for the analysis. I don't know why it was so hostile at the beginning of the interview. Because but I, I don't like all the slick talk about like, oh, is he, is he in a car? Yeah, yes, guys, I'm in a car. You knew where I was. Okay, you don't need I've, to do I've all that. riled him up again. I, I, this is the sensitive spot for him. Don't point out ever again, Billy, that he's in a car, okay? I'm he's, sorry. I, I don't understand I why yeah. this is his trigger. A, a don't point it out ever again. Yeah. Thank you, Amin. It's nice seeing you. Oddball. Every Bye -bye. day except Monday. Every day, because it's oddball with Charlotte Wilder. Uh, no protests. Mike, Can I, I? at some point I want you across the street protesting the Miami Heat, Pat Riley, arrogance, uh, failing to get the players that you want for your feel-good. You I, shouldn't protest, Mike. You should anti-test to really send a message to them. Yeah. You know I mean? yeah. No test. A no oh, test yeah, instead exactly. of a protest. Mm -hmm. I, like yeah. a, I like a no test. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All... All, all, of course, hinging on whether or not Mike Pence has the courage. Yeah. According to Real GM, the Portland Trailblazers, having acquired Drew Holiday, now plan to swing him, and Adrian Wojnarowski has mentioned a potential trade partner, the Miami Heat. Oh, the corpse of Drew Holiday will save us! Oh, he enjoyed yeah. that! Yeah. Yeah. Tony!